In the following video you will learn how to check your model for free 2D element edges. The finite element mesh was previously modified in such a way, that some elements are not linked with their neighbors. In other words, in some places, some finite elements are not touching each other. But where? To find out, let's start by clicking the mesh option from the menu toolbar. As we are looking for nodes, which are not merged together, the check is carried out with respect to the finite element nodes of the model. For visualization purposes, the geometry is disabled. Also note, that the selection of elements, hence the nodes, are made with respect to the component collector. This is a kind of new selection approach for you. Note, by selecting a collector, we will automatically select its contents. Clicking on, Find Edges, checks for free nodes, thus free elements. All free element edges will then be visualized by means of 1D plot elements. If free element edges exist, a new component collector named, Edges will be allocated for that. Only if free edges are found, the component collector named, Edges will be created. At the same time, you will receive a message in the message bar. Here it says, 226 free edges were found. This sounds like we are in big trouble. In order to view the free element edges, we disable the elements from the component, surf. The 1D plot elements, stored in the component edges indicate, where elements are not properly linked together. As with free surface edges, the outer contour of the model is marked by the 1D plot elements. This outer contour should be the only thing that is currently visible. But what about the inner line? In order to enhance visibility of likely problematic areas, we add two additional rows of elements to our selection by clicking on the highlighted button twice, and one more layer of elements. Now we will zoom into the area of interest. As we are interested in the displayed group of elements, we switch from component over to elements. The selection of the elements is carried out with shift and left mouse button. The nodal search tolerance is slightly increased. All nodes placed within the search radius to each other will be highlighted. It is highly recommended to view likely duplicated nodes first. The highlighted nodes depict locations with multiple nodes. In this case, the number of associated elements on both sides of the highlighted nodes is the same. This makes merging easy. Just click on the Equivalence button. We may delete the component collector named, Edges within this panel. Actually, this is not required, as reactivating the Find Edges button, will always update its contents automatically. In the next step, we look at the global model again. Therefore we switch back from elements to components. All elements of the component, surfs, are now still Notice the message, 212 free edges were found. Let us only view the free edges. This looks good. No internal free edges are found. Hence, the mesh is compatible. 